All right, so we're gonna start juggling with scarves. If you guys know these at our school, um, but since we're not at school, we're gonna throw these away and we're gonna go underneath our sink where we all have good old plastic bags. Plastic bags work just as well as scarves do. Um, so I'm gonna start with one and I wanna just give you a couple tips with uh, the differences between juggling bags and juggling a ball. The main difference is that when you're juggling a ball, your hands are up, your palms are up, okay? And you wanna keep your hands down. When we're juggling scarves, it's actually the opposite. Our hands are actually facing down, so our top of our hands facing up. And when we release, we release up high and across our body. And what I like to do is I like to flick with my wrist to give me a little bit of extra time to catch. Okay, so that's just a couple little tips before we get into one. So when we start, we want to start with one. You're going to hold it with one hand, doesn't matter which one you want to start with and you're just gonna go up and across, like I said, flick and catch, okay? We're gonna go across and try to catch. Cross, catch, okay? Once we get good at one, we're gonna try two, and our goal for this activity is that we're trying to transfer this bag into this hand and this, hand, this bag into this hand. So it looks like this. Toss, toss, catch, catch. Toss, toss, catch, catch. It doesn't matter which hand you start with, um, but as we get into this, uh, especially when you get into two and three, I recommend that you start with your non-dominant hand because a lot of times students like to pass. They don't like to. They don't like to use their non-dominant hand. So, toss, toss, catch, catch. Okay. Once you get good with two, then you're ready for three. Now. When we start with three, we're going to have two bags in one hand. And how I like to hold the bags is I like to use my pinky finger and I like to just pinch it with the last bag that I'm going to throw, so for the third bag. The first bag I'm going to throw, I'm going to use my thumb and my index finger and I'm just going to hold the corner of the bag. So it looks like this. Now my goal is to try to transfer these two bags into this hand and this bag into this hand. And how I do that is I'm going to say one, two, three. That's gonna help me stagger the timing, okay? Because sometimes you'll have students toss them two at once and that's incorrect when you get into three. So, all I'm gonna do is count to three. And like I said, I'm gonna transfer these two into this hand, this one into this hand. Looks like this. One, two, three. Okay, just like that. Now, I'm gonna change my movement again. So I've got this, this bag and then this bag with my pinky. So, now I'm gonna start with this because I've got two bags. One, two, three, catch. Okay, once my students are doing that, I basically tell them what's real. You're juggling, okay? You've been able to do three, you've been able to transfer them, and you're successful at that. So your next step is to try to go to four. Not four bags, but four rotations. So instead of three, now we're gonna go one, two, three, four, okay? Um, and once you get good at four, then you try five, and then six, and then the next thing you know, you're juggling. So it's just a progression, and the biggest thing about juggling is trying not to get discouraged when we drop them because it's going to happen. It's going to happen hundreds of times. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you just kind of try to keep going if you can. Once you learn how to juggle, let's try to get a little bit more control. Once you learn how to juggle bags, then I want you to try to learn how to juggle the ball. Okay? Um, and if you get good at the balls, then I'll help you I'll teach you different ways to juggle. Uh, we can do rainbow, we can do columns, things like that. But that's going to be in the next video. All right.